So Obstrata is much, much bigger than we anticipate from the time period. That's for, from Middle Jurassic, a very important time period for Obstrata's evolution that sadly we know nothing about, because it's a big gap in fossil records. And finally, we have this amazing specimen to fill that gap in, and showcasing Obstrata's were much, already much bigger in Middle Jurassic before uh, than we previously anticipated, uh, above two meters, and they were much, much diverse. Already getting the similar diversity that we see in late Jurassic, which is super interesting, because that shows there's a lot of evolution going on in that time period, and that Scotland is a key piece to discovering that evolution radiation, the best place in the world, actually, in time. I uh, led the team from the university. It was a joint Edinburgh University and National Museum of Scotland team with some of our colleagues to Sky, and it was on that trip where we found this fossil. It was Amelia Penny, one of our students, who found it on the beach, and that led to a big, very stressful excavation as we were battling the tides to cut this thing out of the rock with diamond tip saws. We actually lost it for a moment. The, the waves lapped up over it. We had to come back near midnight, the next low tide, to get it out. And then the, for the last few years, we've been studying it, and then we're unveiling it today.